and Samantha. Richard. So what did the test show? It's not good, Richard. I don't know how to tell you this. The cancer has spread. What can we do? At this stage, there aren't many options. How long do we have? It's difficult to say, but my professional opinion, it's two, three months at best. Oh, God. Isn't there something we can do? I'd do anything to see my son. Well, there is one option, but it's highly experimental. Here in a different lifetime, I feel the same. It seems like yesterday that my biggest worry was the fight to meet my son. I won that fight, and even though I recovered, I've missed his whole life. But nothing will stop me. Today, I meet my son. I'm Richard Jr. Your son. Why don't we have a seat? Okay. Uh, Mom looks so young here. Yeah, she's told me everything about you. And I've looked at a lot of pictures. You look different in person. <laughs> I played this moment through my mind every day for the longest time. I'm at a loss for words. Tell me, uh, tell me about your family. Come on. A daughter, Rebecca. She's uh, 35. <laughs> they sure grow up fast. A successful lawyer, New York practice. Wow. And uh, Catherine. She'd just walk into a room, everyone would smile. Brilliant piano player. She was taken from us nine years ago next month. I'm sorry to hear that. I would have liked to met her. So, uh, what about you, son? <laughs> I've got 40 years on you, Dad. <laughs> See, after high school, I joined the Navy, and that worked out pretty well. I was stationed in Sicily. Came back to the States, and a couple years after that, met Catherine at a concert. And I don't know what to say. She was, uh, well, a country music fanatic. Uh, you like that matter, crap? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, as a matter of fact, uh, the concert where we met in Santa Cruz was a country music festival. <laughs> and besides that, it's good drinking music. Speaking of drinking, I could go for a scotch on the rocks right now. It's interesting. Oh, why? That's what I drink. Get that call. 
So this is uh, your room, and I'm right down the hall if there's anything you need. It's just great to finally have you here. <laughs>